We take a look at some of the most incredible and strangest drones out there. And number 10, the Omnicopter. We start off with a drone that's like no other. The drone is not some type of Overlord King, but it does have some incredible flight abilities. If you look closely, the propellers are positioned in different angles, and this allows the drone to have 6 degrees of freedom. So it can rotate and calculate the most efficient flight path. One cool ability of the Omnicopter is that it can fetch a ball in midair. So I for one welcome this new type of multicopter, but I probably would want to stay away from this thing if it's weaponized. At number 9, the Thor Drone. The Thor Hybrid Drone is able to fly as a thrust vector delta wing or as a dual winged monocopter. So basically this means it can fly like a plane or hover like a helicopter. Its ingenious design can also be made smaller and it can be very efficient gliding to surveillance checkpoints. And with mounted solar panels, this could be a game-changing drone which can fly for a very long time. There is only one prototype for now, but I'm sure somebody will copy this idea because it's really ingenious. At number 8, the Cyclocopter. Strap multiple wings onto rotors and you basically have the bizarre Cyclocopter. The concept was actually created way back in 1927, but thanks to drone technology, it's now a viable flying machine. The Cyclocopter has a horizontal rotary ring with good thrust directional control and high gust tolerance. It's controlled purely by utilizing thrust vectoring, so it's quite a bit different from your average quadcopter. The one being shown in this video was built by SJ Kim Laboratory, but there are also numerous similar projects which use the same design. At number 7, the multi wee Dual Copter. M Clay has built a really impressive homemade drone. It has one motor on top and one motor at the bottom. Both of these motors are connected to gimbals, which are controlled by servos, so the props can tilt and steer the dual copter. Combined with a GPS unit, it's actually surprisingly really stable. It's essentially called a thrust vectoring dual copter, and the creator has several versions of the flying machine. Mplace also built some other really cool projects, so let's just hope that he can keep building and throwing in new ideas to the field. At number 6, the rotating wing. The rotating wing is probably one of the strangest things which can fly, and it's more of an RC aircraft than a drone. It's powered by a 3D vector control unit, which houses two steering servos and has one driving propeller. The rotating wings also help the craft fly and stabilize its movements. Vector Kites built the odd craft, and it's unfortunately the only one of its kind. So right now it's a bit of a secret on how exactly to build the vector controlled aircraft. And I'm sure the creator's already been employed by Area 51. So we finally reached number 5, and it's probably one of the weirdest things you'll ever see. And this is probably both bizarre and terrifying at the same time. Bart Jensen has made dead cat copters, rat copters, and even the ostrich copter. All the dead animals are taxidermied and then converted into these strange drones. So I guess that's one way to remember your dead animal friend. Ironically, ostriches can now fly thanks to this odd creator, but thankfully he did not kill any of the animals before converting them into hybrid machines. But I personally find it just a little bit creepy and I'd rather see a ghost over a flying dead body in the sky. At number 4, the Pico Lissimo. Now if I built anything like this rotary craft, it would probably crash and blow up into a million pieces. This rotary craft is the smallest self-powered controllable flying vehicle in the world. Its body spins at 40 times a second, while its propeller spins 800 times a second, creating lift. An outside infrared signal tells the propeller how fast to spin, and thereby controls the drone. The only thing that really weighs this insect machine down are the batteries, but I really believe we will see a new smaller machine with wireless power in the future, and I don't think that's really that far away. At number 3, the Acer Drone. This drone is something you've probably never seen before, and it could be easily mistaken for a UFO. But there are no evil aliens inside this machine, and it's one of the more innovative drones out there. It utilizes the Coanda effect by incorporating one giant ducted fan and channeling air downstream from a cone. Flaps control the downstream air and then effectively steer the drone. There are not too many Coanda crafts out there which actually work, so this is a rare commodity and it was really cool to see the Acer actually fly. At number 2, the Bizarre Bat Bot. I've covered this before and this is a drone straight out of science fiction. The Batbot is made of a silicon membrane wing which is capable of shifting shape. It also has a load of sensors combined with an onboard computer, allowing the drone to be fully autonomous. The artificial bat cannot quite eat mosquitoes yet unfortunately, and it can only glide through the air, but the creators intend to make the bat machine fully agile in flight. It's always fun to mimic nature and this project definitely shows how fast we are progressing with technology. At the great number 1, the Mono Spinner. 
Some would say that this idea would never work. But the monospinner actually does fly, and it's quite ingenious. It has only one moving part, and it can perform controlled flight in any direction. It's also the simplest flying machine in existence. To accomplish this, the controller calculates the average thrust force of the propeller and deviations as control inputs. This allows the craft to determine its position and fly. So basically, the computer is flying the monospinner. So you may ask, well, what's the whole point of this machine? Well, one big benefit which can result from this project is incorporating the design into other normal quadcopters, dual copters, and tricopters, and still have the ability to fly after losing a motor. So it's probably one of the most innovative drones I've seen for a while, and it could have a huge impact in the future on drone technology. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel.